Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read this problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we're told that this table below shows the number of hours of daylight, okay, it's daylight, on the first day of each month in Rochester, New York. So here are the months, here are the hours of daylight. Given the data, what is the average rate of change in hours of daylight per month from January 1st to April 1st? All right, so we've got January 1st here, and it has 9.4 hours of daylight. So since our starting point, that's, that's our input of zero, no time has passed. On January 1st, that's where we are. There are, is an output of 9.4 hours of daylight. Then we go up to April. Okay. So what is that? That's three months later, right? February 1st, March 1st, April 1st. And th at that point, the average amount of daylight is 13.9 hours of daylight. Average rate of change is the slope between those two. So it's we're finding 13.9 minus 9.4. That difference divided by 3 minus 0. And if we set that up, we should get 1.5. And I might have cut off here when I took the screenshot, but it also says interpret what this uh, means in the context of the problem. So let's do that. So this tells me I would write something like this. The hours of daylight, right, that's where we're measuring, so I'm going to use that context, from, what is it, January 1st to April 1st. So you, you want to state in that interval, over that domain, rows and average of... 1.5 hours it's per month right we're because we're dividing it out something to that effect make sure you mention daylight make sure you mention the domain and that you're dealing with an average per month which is essentially our slope here and that is an interpretation that would surely give you full credit all right thanks